Kenny Golden Jr. looks him over. Green is out, we're underway. All jammed up behind the leader, David Kramer, Jimmy Avery in that brand new car, works the top side. As he battles with Beaumont, they go down the back. David Kramer. Tried to go three wide over there. Avery backs out of it. Here they come to complete lap number one. Kramer leads. Terry Griffin charges down on the inside. TJ Henry now slots up into the third spot. Four. Kramer leads side by side for second. Yellow out. To hold on, Princeton is trying to wrestle that lead away from him as they come off corner number four. Door handle, the door handle, wheel to wheel down the front stretch. Princeton trying to clear Griffin. Griffin will not give up up on the outside. Jeremy Door looks on from third. They charge down the back. The whole field under a blanket as they go off corner number two. Jeremy Door works the outside. Will he be finally able to wrestle away, that lead away from a determined Terry Griffin? Jeremy Door, Griffin, door handle, door handle. One more time off the corner, they come down the front. Jeremy Door finally clears up into the lead. Jeremy Door down low. Avery, Jimmy Avery, the 76, is going to give it a try up high. He's got the momentum. Door comes back on the bottom. Door handle, the door handle, down the back. Jimmy Avery clears and takes the win. <laughs> Green is out, we're racing in the Bill Hill Memorial. Travis Hill with a strong start from the outside. Stretches it out down the back over. Gary Heber, Steve Searock on the move as he charges into corner number three on the outside of Heber. Jesse Hill challenging Gary Heber for third now as they go into corner number one. Jesse Hill working the top side. Drop kicks Heber back to fourth. Three cars in a row. A little bit more difficult now for Travis Hill. As he enters corner number three, underneath the 45 of Lillick, looks like he's got him cleared. Nineteen laps in for Travis Hill as he continues to maneuver through lap traffic. 39 of Matthew Peck. As he closes it up for second off corner number two. Look at Jesse Hill on the bottom. He's going to challenge C-Rock going into corner number three. Smooth, steady, straight as an arrow off corner, corner, corner number four. Give the Hill Memorial to Travis Hill. So an old fashioned Saturday night victory lap for Travis Hill carrying the flag around the speedway. I told Joel that uh, we come here right every week and this was even more special. This is probably the most memorable. I mean, it just brings tears to my eyes. I wish my dad was standing here next to me. I'm sure he is, but it's just, this is the hardest thing coming to this place every Saturday night without him. And this race, I'm, I gotta thank Keith and everybody at Bridgeport for uh, letting us do this race for the second time. And everybody, Brittany, my brother, Jane, everybody that helped put this race together. They did a, a hell of a job with everything. And uh... Stanley Frankenfield on this point, takes him down in the corner number one. Mike France with a strong start. Charges down the back stretch. Rocco Infante jumps into the second spot. Kyle Heber runs third with Dave Whitty on his tail. As they shuffle it up off corner number two, Stanley Frankenfield out of the gate. Rocco Infante looking to track him down as they come off corner number four. Frankenfield with a fast closing. Rocco Infante, Woody rides third with Derek Corman and Matt Harold hot on his heel. Rocco Infante continues to close that gap down to Stanley Frankenfield as they charge into corner number three. Rocco Infante right on the bumper now. He pulls down to the inside. Rocco Infante 
tries to sweep past. Frankenfield comes back as they seesaw back and forth off quarter number four. Who's going to be the leader at the flag stand? Here they come. It's Rocco Infante. Rocco Infante showing some early muscle. Dave Witte as well. Matt Harold, some different faces up in the top three. The hot dog man, Eric Corman rides fourth. Wade Hendrickson on the move as he pressures Eric Corman coming down the front. Wade Hendrickson now has got a wheel underneath. He's alongside Corman. Put the flying farmer up to the fifth spot. As he charges the outside in quarter number one, Rick Lobach is in six. He's got the hammer down. He's working on Wade Hendrickson as he tries to dispatch the flying farmer in quarter number three. The Quaker Shaker is now the man on the move. Rick Lobach on the outside of Witte. He continues to charge. He's up to the fourth spot as Infante rounds number two and goes down the back as they charge into the corner. Infante continues to leave. Rick Lobach, the man on the outside. Jimmy Horton can see him now as he sails by. The man on a mission is the Quaker Shaker, Rick Lobach. Horton comes back on the inside. Wheel the wheel off the corner. What a race. Richie Pratt in the zero car dies at Vic and right at the start finish line. Rocco Infante, Jimmy Horton, Rick Lobach, Matt Harrell, Wayne Hendrickson as they charge in the corner number one. For the first time tonight, Jimmy Horton works to the top side. Rick Lobach crosses it up and goes to the bottom. Horton's got to run down the back. They rock it in the corner number three. Rocco Infante on the bottom. Jimmy Horton on the top. He rolls around. Put the Lincoln Auto Body, car number five, into the lead with two to go, two laps to go. Rick Laubach is up on the top side. He charges Infante. Rick Laubach is the man on the move. The Quaker Shaker now has a lap and a half left. Laubach's on the top. One more turn to go. Here they come. Feature event win number five for Jimmy Horton. Uh, kind of Rick showed me a line there, you know, on a restart, we were able to hit it pretty good. And uh, he was going to be tough. You know, I don't know if I could have held him off any longer. But, uh, you know, he had a top rolling pretty good where I wasn't. But uh, we'll just go back and work on it a little bit, see if we can get a little better. All right, bad news for the competition. Jimmy Horton's going to try to make it a little better after five wins. Jimmy Horton in victory lane. 